Hey everyone, welcome back to the video. Hi. We have a new episode of Child Time with JP for you with special guest Lily. Hello. And we'll be getting started in a few moments. We got a lake already. Those of you that are tuning in for the live stream, let us know if the audio and visual is good. If we get a thumbs up, then we know everything's okay and yeah. we can continue on with our video. Hi, everybody. Hi, everyone. So we'll wait till we get a few more people in here. Then we'll start. They're rolling in now. Hey, guys. Okay, so this reached 20. We'll wait till we get a few more here. Yeah. Hope everyone's enjoying their Saturday evening. It's been a really sunny but chilly day here in Pennsylvania. I think it didn't get out of the 50s, but... Yeah. Hey, what's up, RJ? All right, so I think we have enough people here. So this episode of Child Time with JP is going to be special guest Lily. You guys know her, you love her. Yeah. And she's the host of her own channel. Life of Lily. Life of Lily. And this episode, we're going to be doing some taste testing of chocolates from different countries. We have six items we're going to be trying out tonight. We purchased these from Wegmans, and... We kind of just picked the ones that we looked that, that we thought looked appealing or kind of catchy with their names. Yeah. So we're going to read the packages to you, show you what they look like, sniff them, and then taste them. <laughs> sniff. So in no particular order, we got a company called Joya or Jaya, J-O-Y-V-A, Joiva or Java, but it's called Halva. It looks like this. And I'll see if I can read what country this is from. It says a delicious sesame treat, original flavor, and let's see. It doesn't have the country listed on here, but yeah. it says that actually it's um, Joiva Corporation in Brooklyn, New York. So it's made in the USA, but it's, I think it's a product of another country, though. I just don't know where, but yeah, it's nothing I've ever tasted before, but it says it's a sesame treat, whatever that means. Sesame seeds. Uh, next up is Pizikzimin Elite. However you want to pronounce that. I don't know. <laughs> Let us know too um, if you want a closer. We have it on the wide angle right now. If you want a closer look at what we're showing you, let us know. I'll switch cameras. But um, this one here is a milk chocolate bar filled with wafer and hazelnut cream. Oh, yes. And this is definitely from another country. Is it another language? Um, yeah, I'm trying to see what they're saying about the camera view. Is the camera view okay, or do you want it zoomed in more? Just keep, just keep an eye on the comments, we'll see what it says. All right. Product of Israel. Oh, Israel. So this came from Israel. Wait, where is that in Europe? Yeah, that's what V said. Havel is Israel, probably. It's Israel, I think, is out near, like, is that by Egypt and stuff? Or I don't know. I'm people not good are, with locations. People are saying it's okay. Okay, so if that's okay, we'll continue. Um, I'll do the next one, then you can do these next three. All right. Yee. All right, next one is, I believe this is German. Uh, it's Niederreger. <laughs> Lubick. Uh, milk chocolate marzipan. Um, milk chocolate filled with marzipan. That's what it is. If you guys could pronounce it any better than me, you're welcome to. Uh, this one. Let's see where this one comes from. Made in Germany. Yep, I was right. So this Yay. is a German item. Milk chocolate filled with marzipan. All right, my turn? Yeah, I've always got three. I'll show them to the camera, though, after you talk about them. All right, so I have a Chips Ahoy chocolate bar with Chips Ahoy cookies and, um, what's it called? <laughs> I can't think of it. A part of them or inside it's, of them? It's milk chocolate pieces with Chips Ahoy filling. Um, this is from Milka, what's which it? this is from... Manufactured by Mon Mandela's Deutschland. So this is for a product of Germany. <gasps> Yay, more Germany. So we have the Oreo version of the Chips Ahoy. Yeah, so this is the same thing but with Oreo filling. I bet this one's from Germany as well. I this is know. chocolate. How do you say it? Um, well, it's Balsen. It's Choco Liebenes. Crispy cookies, it says. <laughs> 
I don't, I, we're not good with the pronunciation. It's dark chocolate. This is Germany as well. So we have. I knew it. One, we have four German items, one Israel item, and one possibly Israel. Well, this one's definitely Israel. Yeah. And this one, it says it's made in USA, but I think it's supposed to be a. Yeah. You know. A reproduction of another candy bar from another country so uh these are again we didn't know what we were buying when we saw them we just picked them out we didn't know what country they were from but we just picked the items that looked kind of yeah. cool to us um so i guess we'll start with the crackers and then we'll move on to the chocolates it says dark chocolate so i'm super excited yeah it says dark chocolate crispy cookies and it says choco libanese so it's the same thing as this yeah, one but it says it on the uh. bar itself so we'll show you what it looks like Oh, Ooh, these are interesting looking. <laughs> so they come in a package like this, three trays, and they are um, stacked with these chocolate covered crackers. Yeah. Hey guys. Jeremy has cool stuff. So to show you, oh, well, it's pretty neat. So the one side is a cracker, mm -hmm. like a cookie cracker, almost like an animal cracker, I think. And the other side is chocolate. So it's Basically, a three quarters dipped uh, chocolate covered cracker. It looks like a graham cracker. I don't think it's focusing, but you guys could get the gist of it though. You could take one. <laughs> it smells like dark chocolate. Oh, I love dark chocolate. So, smell. I mean, it doesn't smell bad. Now you smell chocolate in the whole thing. Yeah. You ready? Uh huh. Okay. As it crumbles all apart. Mmm. <laughs> It's good. Good job, Germany. I'm not typically a big fan of dark chocolate. I do prefer milk chocolate, but this does have a good taste to it. The combination of the cracker and the chocolate definitely works well together. Cracker is very crumbly, but other than that, I mean, it has good taste, good texture. I have some crunch to it, as you can hear. Germany is good. So first item, Germany gets a thumbs up. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite country, people watching? Yeah, have you guys ever tried any chocolates or items from other countries? If you have, let us know. My favorite country would be Germany. What would be yours? Well, I'm half German, so I like German naturally. But, um, I'm more fond of German foods like bratwurst and stuff like that. So... Hoping to go there in the next couple of years, too. Yeah. I want to go to Berlin for, like, the World War II history stuff. Yeah, that'd be pretty neat. What do you want to try next? Hmm. Have a The one that's possible. The sesame one? Yeah. Okay. Why not? May make some weird faces for this one. We don't know how it's going to taste. So just yeah. be prepared. Belgian chocolates. Godiva chocolates. Yeah, I think oh. I've got some of those. Look how cool this looks. Cool. <laughs> yeah. It looks. Oh. Not? Yeah. So this is the <laughs> Havila. Havila. Yeah. It says it's a sesame treat. Yeah. Which is. It looks like a peanut butter. Block. I don't even know how to describe it. It's just like a, it looks like a, yeah, like a block of peanut butter. But it doesn't smell very appetizing though. Oh, it smells like it smells good. We'll, we'll There's see. a bottom on it. Yeesh. Yeah, it looks like almost like a, uh, a wafer, but it's greasy. I'm gonna break it. Yeah, it's crumbly. It's like a um, it's almost like Play-Doh, really. It's like Play-Doh texture. Yeah. Don't put the whole thing in your mouth. Just take a bite of it. You like it? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. <laughs> the texture, I don't like it. The other taste is not that good, but the first taste is good. I mean, I wouldn't get it again, but it's okay. It's hard to describe. It's like something you would put... I've tasted this flavor before. I can't really pinpoint. It doesn't taste like sesame to me. It tastes like something else. But the te the, the uh, texture to it, it's like crumbly, but not like a good crumbly. It's like Bad. it's like dry Play-Doh, pretty much. And I don't know. It, it kind of sucks all the moisture out of your mouth. It just has a weird taste to it. It's not horrible. I mean, I could eat it, but I wouldn't voluntarily buy it again, though. 
But Sorry. I will take another bite, though. Justin said, send me some chocolate, please. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, so Havila or ha Halva, whatever the heck it is. <laughs> Doesn't matter no uh -huh. more. Which one do you want to do next? Give me a second. I got to get this taste on my mouth. <laughs> Mom, do you want to try it after? Wait. All right. I guess we'll do um, something I probably will like. The Milka Oreo bar. We'll do that next. I'm pretty sure I like this. I like. I love Oreos. It looks like the one that like that was in the Walmart before, like the one that was like giant bumps on it. With mm -hmm. the, yeah. Hi everybody that says hi to me or is tuning in now. Maybe we should uh, deep fry this. <laughs> like, like yes. A, like a deep fried Oreo. It's gonna end it, up like a Kit Kat though. I'll open it. My hands are all slippery. Yeah. <laughs> if you can't open, I'll get scissors. You go to Germany every year to see your mom. Take the train to West Berlin. Scary going through there. Oh, look at it. There's more stuff on the back. Oh. <laughs> you. There's some over here <laughs> on my desk. This is open here. Apparently, it's <laughs> people proof. We can't people open it. Proof. <laughs> here, let me see. Thank you. Whoever made scissors, Thank you, deserve, you. you deserve a pat on the back. The wonder's people proof. Please. <laughs> There we go. Alright. So hang on, don't go. I'm smelling it. Don't go hog wild. Oh, it smells good. It smells like chocolate and Oreo, so it's it's little pre-cut chocolate pieces, almost like Hershey bar. But inside the filling though is supposed to be Oreo. Melting now. On my so hand. I mean it looks like it's like um a yellow cookie texture inside of it. With um, bits of darker chocolate, which is, I believe is the Oreo. So I think it's like um, Oreo pieces mixed in with some type of... Um, cream? I don't know if it's cream or like... Frosting? Cracker or something like that, but... Uh. Either way, it smells good, so we'll try it. Don't mind this tail. It's it's not mine. <laughs> oh, good. Now, this one is really, really good. Much better than that sesame crap, I'll tell you that. <laughs> no, no incredible burger in Canada? That's no good. Is that everywhere in Canada or just the one you went to? Sesame crap? Yes, it is. Hang on. <laughs> I'm talking about mouthful. Germany is doing good so far. The packaging is in German too, so I took <laughs> I took um, I think two years conversational German in, in uh, high school. But I can't read. I can understand a couple words of it. What did um, they say? Chocolate. <laughs> um, yeah, you should have brought your notebook if you had one. Oh, that was like 22 years ago. Oh. No, I'm... wait. wait 16. Wait. <laughs> yeah, 22 years ago. Yeah. I was 16 years old. I started taking German. But um, yeah, anyways, this was available at Garrity's. Not Garrity's. Oh, my God. <laughs> Wegmans. Wegmans. <laughs> in the international food area. And I've seen it in other places too, Milka, but I never knew it was German. But the Oreo one is fantastic. You can pick next. Oh, really? Okay. Um, oh my God, really? <laughs> the one from Israel. I don't know how to say it, so I'm not going to really say it. Speak German. I know, like, Ish Haba is I have, and my, my Nama, my name. Um, I used to be able to say sentences too, but it's all vague now. <laughs> I the only word I know in German is nine. Yeah, no, I could count in German. Ein, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, sechs, zehn, acht, nine, zehn. One through ten. I can still do that. So this is the one with the hazelnut filling with the wafer and the chocolate bar. Okay. 
Let's open it. This is not people proof, thank God. <laughs> yeah, I can actually open it this time though. <laughs> Come on. Is we all people? There you go. Oh, that looks nice. <laughs> So this is what it looks like whole. There's a nice pattern on it. Break down for peace. So they are kind of pre-cut like the other ones, but they don't break evenly. But yeah. inside um, is wafer. Yeah. If you could see it. And there's, there's a, a thin line of like cream. Yeah. <sighs> Smells good. It smells like chocolate. And wafer. And a little bit of wafer. Let's go. First taste is wafer. Mmm, I don't know. I'm on the fence about this one. I'll take another bite. It's just better. I thought I would like it more than I do, actually. Mm-hmm. I don't know, I'm not a huge fan of it. I'll give you my thoughts in a second, though. I didn't pick a good one, did I? Either way, we got to try them. So for that one, the um, initial <laughs> bite, you taste the, the wafer. You get to crunch the wafer. And the wafer tastes good. I don't know if it's the hazelnut cream or the type of chocolate they use, but the taste of it, though, the overall flavor... It's just something off about it. It's not like, typically, you know, you put chocolate in your mouth, they're like, oh my God, this tastes so good. But mm -hmm. that, for me at least, it didn't, I didn't get that feeling. It was just, <coughs> sorry. Um, as soon as I bit into it, all I tasted was like wafer. Yeah, there's something about it. It's either the hazelnut or the chocolate. But I mean, it wasn't, this, so far the sesame one is the worst one. That comes in second place of the worst one. But we still have two more to go. So I guess I'll pick next. We'll do the Yay. no chocolate marzipan, another German chocolate. Germany is doing good. Good job, Apparently, Germany. Germany has a big market in Wegman stores. Let's say that. They knew it was my favorite country. And I have been doing some research. There are um, a few different providers that sell what are called like snack packs or meal packs or whatever they're called. Little crate stuff with yeah, food. Yeah, so basically you go online, you pick items that you're interested in having shipped to you. They send you with like a, a cardboard box filled with different stuff. You could choose like chips, chocolates, um, actual items that you cook, drinks, meats, um, all different types of stuff. And you could choose it, the type that you want and they send you a variety of like, I think every, depending on which size you choose, anywhere from like a half a dozen to like 20 items from all different countries. So we're gonna be ordering that pretty soon and we'll be, you know, unboxing it and trying it live with you guys. So that'll be a lot of fun. If it goes good, we'll definitely do more of them. Do you get to pick what country you want it from? I'm not sure. Because if you do, can you please pick Germany? Oh, so I thought it was like the Wonka bar. I got the golden ticket. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I got a golden ticket. It's nice packaging, I'll tell you that. It's nice gold foil. Mm-hmm. Germany got fancy. Hey, guys, joining in. Sorry we're not reading the comments too much. We're just trying to eat, eat and share our thoughts with you. Yeah. But I will, we will go back and watch it and read the comments. Ice cream fudge bars are my favorite. So I can't read that name because it's too Ugh. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to like this one. Watch the language. Sorry. The one thing dropped on the floor. Don't worry about it. We'll get it later. <laughs> sorry. Minus the S bomb that she dropped. I'm sorry. Apologize to them, not her. I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, the inside, I don't know, I'll just show it to you. It does not look good to me. It looks like coconut. Actually, yeah. honestly, I don't even know what the heck marzipan is. Is it, what is it, like a peanut? What is marzipan? Can you guys tell me? Because I, the packaging looks like a peanut, but the inside it looks like coconut, and I don't like the smell of it. Hmm. I just want to see what you guys say first so I know what I'm eating, because I'm pretty sure there's a good chance I might not swallow this. Almond nu paste? Nougat. I like almonds, but it doesn't smell like almonds. It's almost it's almond paste, I'm guessing. Uh, maybe this will be better than it smells. No, let's just try. Mm. 
Oh, thank God. <laughs> it tastes better than it smells. Not crazy about the texture, though. I like baby food. Hmm? I like baby food. Yeah. That's a good description. Oh, the apple taste. <laughs> Oh, that's a bad aftertaste. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. All right. So, looks nice packaging-wise. Smells disgusting. Texture's just disgusting. And you guys are saying it's a paste. It's not even like a paste. It's what she said. It's like baby food stuffed inside of a chocolate shell. <clears throat> the initial taste is really good. I'm like, oh, this is pleasantly surprising. I like the aftertaste. The aftertaste... It didn't sit well with me. I, it almost made me like a little bit nauseous. That's why I was like, Ugh. it just. There you uh, go. I'm not even trying another piece of that. I got to get another water though. Excuse me. You can drink mine. I'm probably sure I'll finish that too. <clears throat> so it's a no go. No, nope. no for me. That, that's probably the worst one so far, I think. You said that about the sesame as well. Well, I'm updating my list. So, one more item to go. Oh, this is good. I'll open it up and Lily could uh, dispense it. Yay! And then we'll wrap it up at the end and share um, worst to best as to what we both like. I know we're going to have different of opinions because she... I like, like some of the stuff that we're having. Some of it I don't like. Ooh. Don't like marzipan. I guess I don't like marzipan either. I won't be ever buying another marzipan item. This one I know we're going to like because it's just like the Milka Oreo, but this is yeah. Milka Ch uh, Chips Ahoy. It looks like cookie dough in the middle. Oh, yeah. It actually smells like cookies on the inside, too. It smells oh. like, like cookies. You would open up like a Chips Ahoy cookie container. Mine smells different. What's it smell like? Pickles? It smells like mine. Oh. <laughs> I thought it would be more pleasant. All right, so. Final item. We got the chocolate off the floor. And Jill's is on top of the cat, so we're okay. Don't worry. She's like the Oreo one. Need another bite because it, it it's not bad. It's actually really good, but it has a little bit of different flavor than I was expecting. I'm trying to pinpoint it. It's Alpine milk chocolate. Tastes exactly like the Oreo one. I don't think so. Well, when you're done, tell them what you think. Mm -hmm. I personally like it. It tastes exactly like the Oreo one for some reason to me. And I like washed my mouth out a couple of times because we had that like a while ago. It's either my taste buds are going wacky or it, it does it taste exactly like the Oreo. And a kitty is nuzzling my ankle down here. Alright, so for me, it's similar to the Oreo one because it's another cookie. But... To me, it doesn't taste like Chips Ahoy. It tastes like chocolate chip cookie dough. You know, like the raw dough when you make the batter, you know, and you, after you um, put it on the cookie sheet, you know, you usually eat a little bit of it. That's what it tastes like to me, which is really good. I love cookie dough. It's not the same as Oreo to me, but it's similar because they're both cookies. But do you want to go first or do you want me to go first about what we like? You go first. Okay, so I'm going to go least favorite to most favorite. Same. <coughs> Excuse me. Worst one is the milk chocolate marzipan. This one I almost spit out. The aftertaste was horrible. The texture is even worse. I don't like baby food. I can understand why babies don't like baby food. So this one was the worst one. I will never buy this again. And it'd be torture. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, kitty. Kitty bomb. Kitty bomb. That's Jinx. Kitty close-ups. <laughs> He's getting in the, getting into the middle of things. <laughs> um, so yeah, marzipan one is the worst one. 
the second um, second one that I, I like don't like is the Halva Sesame Treat one. I just, it sounds like Sesame Street. Sesame Treat. <laughs> Treats like Halloween treat. That's the one I like. Second to least favorite. Um, after that, I'd probably say the Choco Libanese Crispy Cookies. That's right in the middle. It's, it's not fantastic, but it's not horrible. But I would eat it again. Yeah. Um, and it's going to come down between these two for me for first place and runner-up. Guess what one what it is. Which one do you think is my favorite? The Oreo or the Chips Ahoy cookie? I want to yeah. see what you guys think. And then I'll tell you which one is my mm -hmm. favorite. I'll do a drum roll. And then Lily will tell you her, her picks too. Woo! Now that I look at it, the sesame one is like getting like liquid stuff on it. Yeah, it's like grease. Yeah, it's like a coating on it. I don't know what it is. Oreo, Chips, Chips. Ahoy, Cookie Dough, Oreo. Oreo. Okay. Oreo. Cute so, kitty. <laughs> so my pick number one is Oreo. That was my most favorite. The Chips Ahoy, which I consider Cookie Dough, came runner up. They were a close tie, but just because I like Oreo better, that one won first place. So either one of these, you're not going to go wrong. They both taste really good. They really hit the sweet spot. Not overly sweet, but you do taste the crunch of the cookie. You get the chocolate. You get like a little bit of um, flavoring from the Oreo. But I like both of them. But uh, Lily is going to go now and tell right. you her least favorite to her most favorite, just my, like I did. My least favorite is the, the Havala. That yeah. was the sesame one? Yeah. My second to least favorite is the uh, marzipan. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Um, third would be the Oreo. Um, and, and those are guess between your top yeah, two. So it's between the Choco, the, the, the Choco Cracker. The Chocolate Crackers or the Chips Ahoy yeah. Milka. Which one do you think is her favorite? Yeah. You drum roll so I don't say it yet. <laughs> well, just wait until they comment first. I know. I'm saying no. You didn't want to drum roll. People are saying the Milka one. I think they're talking about this. Chips Ahoy, they're saying Milka. Well, Milka is Chips Ahoy. Oh. So it's Milka or Cookie Crackers. Chips Ahoy, Chips Ahoy. I don't know what a couple more people say. Yeah. <clears throat> chips Ahoy, Chips Ahoy. Okay, so tell them what your number one pick is. Number one pick is the Choco Crackers, and the runner up is the Chips Ahoy. So you guys are actually wrong. Only one person right now. Christina guessed yeah. the chocolate crackers. Good job, Christina. So that was uh, surprising to myself. I thought she was going to choose the Chips Ahoy because she loves cookies and chocolate. So. Woo! Cookies and chocolate. So overall, I mean, it's it's pretty neat and interesting to try, you know, items from different countries. Most of them were Germany, obviously. We didn't know that ahead of time. <laughs> we just kind of went down the aisle, grabbed what we wanted to. The Israel bar, yeah, so-so. Oh, wait. We didn't even comment on that one, did we? No. Oh, well, then no. <laughs> the description's all like the P.O. Box, box and stuff. Actually, yeah. My mistake. We forgot an item. The um, Israel... What the heck is this called? The Pegasus. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Beason. Yeah, the uh, milk chocolate bar filled with wafer... And hazelnut cream. That'll be my third. I forgot about that one. That one's from Israel. That one, I I put it right around the middle, too, with the, um, I'd say these are probably better than this. So it would be the marzipan sesame bar, then the Israel bar, then the chocolate crackers, then the chips ahoy, then the Oreo. Where do you place that for yours? Um, Mar no, I didn't know. Um... Havala, marzipan, the that what the Israel bar, the Oreo, um, chips ahoy, and then this. Okay, so yeah, sorry about that. I thought I'm thinking. Wait, it kind of matched up kind of evenly, but it didn't. Um, if you guys have any questions on the items we tried for you, you're welcome to ask now. We'll pay attention yeah. to the screen, answer your questions, and um, obviously we're open to suggestions of other items. We actually do have a uh, fun video coming up, um, possibly tomorrow. If not, it'll be during the week. 
that's going to be a blindfold taste test. Yeah. It's either going to be between myself and Lily or maybe all three of us. We don't know yet. But it should be pretty fun to try to feed each other some different items and see if we could taste what it is. Diana said to try the um, Kit Kats from Japan. Actually, when I was at school, my friend used to have like these Asian candies from, uh, yeah, like the Japanese candies or whatever. And like, and like they had the Kit Kats and I taste some of them like Sakura, which is cherry blossom, um, melon, like the, what's it called, cantaloupe kind of stuff. So it was really good. So I would like to do that. I don't know where you get those except online, maybe. I saw FYE has some. Okay. Not um, all of them, though. And like I mentioned, we're going to be ordering the snack pack from different countries that get sent yeah. to your house. Hopefully it has some stuff from like Japan and maybe oh, yeah. other exotic places. China. <laughs> Why am I being deleted? I'm not sure what you're talking about, Glenda. What? I, you didn't delete anyone, did you? Um, I don't know, unless one of the mods did. I mean, mods, did anyone delete Glenda? If so, just let me know why. But we're just talking to you guys here, so I'm not really yeah. sure what's going on. Sorry if there's any any issues I'm not aware of. Um, anyways, guys, um, any final thoughts? Um, like and subscribe. Um, uh, nothing really, just that. Okay. Well, like and subscribe to her channel, Life of Lily. You can find it under my channel's link. Um, and she just put out a new video a few days ago yeah. for thanking her 500 subs for breaking 500 subscribers, which is fantastic for her. Yeah. And she has a new video coming out this week, mm -hmm. which you guys will see if you subscribe to her channel. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Otherwise, uh, hope you guys enjoyed tonight's episode of Child Time with JP. We had a lot of fun. And if you have any uh, questions, thoughts, suggestions after the stream, feel free to leave your comments down below. <laughs> And like I said, maybe we'll see you tomorrow. If not, probably on Tuesday. We'll see what happens with our day-to-day -day things. So anyways, hope you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel. Check out my Chow Time with JP playlist for all our food-related videos and episodes. And that's it. Thanks for watching. And until next time. I'll see you in the next video. I'll see you in the next video. Woo!